is neuroplasticity? Neuroplasticity um, is actually not very explicitly defined. It's quite simply the ability of the brain to adapt to unusual and new experiences. Neuroplasticity can be natural, um, part of the brain's processes. So when, when the, the brain is incurring an injury, all kinds of the chemical processes that change can either help facilitate a, a neural environment that's healthy to plasticity and promoting plasticity, or it can also serve as a barrier. So what we try to do is leverage those processes that will help facilitate the repair. So with this therapy that we're developing, it's called the Familiar Auditory Sensory Training Protocol, or the FAST protocol. It's a sensory stimulation protocol. So patients for a long time who've been in a coma, everyone's always asked the old question, age-old question is, can they hear me? Will they recognize my voice? So as a therapist, when I was working with families and patients, um, the first thing I thought of when I saw a patient once was, well, they're responding better to these familiar things, such as the smells of vanilla for someone who baked a lot. She responded much better to that because that was very familiar to her. It was very salient to her. Um, whereas if you give her, gave her an odor that wasn't familiar to her, such as peppermint maybe, she wasn't somebody who sucked on peppermints a lot, but she responded better to this familiar smell. And, um, and so we took what we knew about what I knew clinically by observing patients over time, that they were responding better to things they knew. And then you also thought about what we know about neurological sciences, the, the, the capabilities of the brain. So, and we know the brain is capable of recognizing a familiar voice versus a non-familiar voice. Your brain will respond differently. So for example, when I call your name out and I say LG, what's probably going to activate here are the temporal lobes, the bilateral temporal lobes. In essence, what we've tried to do with these patients is use that and leverage that uh, concept of recognizing a familiar voice as well as having an experience or a story in encoded in their memory. So as a, as a child, if we experience things, we've encoded those into our memory by, by having um, neuronal assemblies essentially form together to, for, to help us store that memory and as well as retrieve that memory. So by you listening to me call your name out loud, your temporal lobes may activate, but you know, that's about it. So now we want to get more higher level neural activation involved. So in theory, we think that this sensory stimulation exercise using familiar stories told by familiar voices, that we are having the, helping the patient engage these neural networks or neuronal assemblies. And then the product of that is a richer or healthier neural environment, which should support repair and help the brain heal faster. And we've heard some incredible stories. We've heard really funny stories and we've heard really beautiful stories. And then we've heard sad stories as well. And I'm gonna share one of those stories with you that was really quite beautiful. Brian, remember that UPS truck that passed us by? You and I looked at each other in total disbelief. You said, Dad, you're gonna let a truck pass a Corvette? 